If you want to, gain a deeper understanding of race and identity, appreciate the power of words, feel inspired by a story of hope and possibility, learn more about the history of racism in America, then this summary is for you. Published in 1952, it explores the life and experiences of an unnamed African-American protagonist living in the racially divided United States during the early 20th century. Through a series of encounters, the protagonist grapples with the complexities of identity, social invisibility, and the struggle for self-acceptance. The novel offers a poignant commentary on racism, power dynamics, and the quest for individuality in a society marked by prejudice. Let's delve into the chapters to uncover the depth and significance of Invisible Man. Chapter 1, Battle Royal. The book opens with the protagonist recalling his high school graduation speech, which leads to an invitation to participate in a battle royal with other black boys. The battle royal is a brutal boxing match where the boys are blinded and pitted against each other. This event symbolizes the dehumanization and exploitation of African Americans. The protagonist's realization that his success is dependent on conforming to societal expectations and suppressing his true identity sets the stage for his journey of self-discovery. Chapter 2, The Founders' Day Parade The protagonist is invited to give his graduation speech at a gathering of prominent white citizens. However, he is tricked into participating in a humiliating sambo dance during the Founders' Day Parade. The incident highlights the racist objectification of black individuals for entertainment and reinforces the notion of their invisibility in a society that refuses to acknowledge their humanity. Chapter 3, True Blood The protagonist encounters Jim True Blood, a black man who has committed incest and lives in the outskirts of society. True Blood's story challenges the prevailing narrative of black inferiority and raises questions about the consequences of a society that devalues and marginalizes certain individuals. It prompts the protagonist to reflect on the complexity of his own identity and the forces that shape it. Chapter 4, The Brotherhood the protagonist moves to New York City and becomes involved with the Brotherhood, a political organization striving for racial equality. Initially, he believes the Brotherhood can help him fight against racial oppression and bring about positive change. However, he soon realizes that the organization views him merely as a tool to advance their own agenda. This chapter explores the dangers of subjugating one's individuality and voice to a larger collective and reveals the protagonist's growing disillusionment with established power structures. Chapter 5, The Liberty Paints Plant The protagonist finds employment at the Liberty Paints Plant, where he is assigned to work in the Optic White department. He discovers that the plant's paint, called Optic White, is actually made by adding a small amount of black to a predominantly white mixture. This metaphorical use of color exposes the hypocrisy of the plant and society at large, which claim to uphold racial equality but perpetuate systemic racism through subtle manipulation and exploitation. Chapter 6, Ras the Exhorter The protagonist encounters Ras the Exhorter, a black nationalist leader who criticizes the protagonist's involvement with the Brotherhood. Ras advocates for the complete separation of races and sees the Brotherhood as a corrupt and assimilationist force. This encounter prompts the protagonist to reassess his own beliefs and confront the complexities of racial identity, questioning whether assimilation or separatism is the path to genuine empowerment. Chapter 7, The Riot a riot erupts in Harlem, sparked by the death of a young black man at the hands of a white police officer. The protagonist finds himself caught between the conflicting forces of the police, the Brotherhood, and the enraged Harlem residents. This chaotic event exposes the underlying tensions and inequalities in society and forces the protagonist to confront the consequences of his actions and choices. Chapter 8, The Brotherhood's Betrayal the protagonist discovers that the Brotherhood has manipulated him and the Harlem community for their political gains. He realizes that his participation was merely a means for the Brotherhood to maintain control and perpetuate their own agenda. 
This betrayal deepens his disillusionment with organized movements and propels him towards a greater understanding of his own individuality and the need to forge his own path. Chapter 9, The Underground After the Brotherhood's betrayal, the protagonist descends into the underground, both literally and metaphorically. He lives in an abandoned cellar, contemplating his experiences and reflecting on his invisibility. This chapter represents a turning point as the protagonist begins to embrace his invisibility as a source of power and autonomy, rejecting the constraints imposed upon him by society. Chapter 10, Epilogue In the epilogue, the protagonist reveals his decision to go underground, acknowledging that he will no longer allow others to define his identity. He recognizes that his invisibility grants him the freedom to shape his own narrative and determine his own destiny. The novel concludes with the protagonist's resolve to continue his search for authenticity and individuality, despite the challenges and uncertainties that lie ahead. Conclusion Invisible Man is a profound exploration of race, identity, and the struggle for selfhood. Through its vivid storytelling and poignant social commentary, Ralph Ellison's novel invites readers to critically examine the complexities of the human experience and confront the invisible forces that shape our lives. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you just watched, please support us by liking and subscribing. Make sure to enable notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release new videos.